Subscribe to Rootstem Gaming before the 15th of December for your chance to win this Araman painted figure. Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to be looking at how to mask off various different figures using different mediums, mainly blue tack, if I'm allowed to say that, I'm not quite sure if it's like copywritten, or and um, various bits of masking tape and paper, so you can actually use a little bit of paper and possibly card to try and mask off the figure. Um, I'm doing it this way because I know some people get kind of confused what we can and can't do, and sometimes certain masking techniques can create effects, especially with like things like blue tack. Uh, so let's take you straight to it. As you can see, the masking technique on this one is going to be blue tack. Now, I just want to have a quick explanation sometimes we're using blue tack because it doesn't normally get flat. Unlike things like tape, which is this is modeling tape, which you can get from majority of hobby stores or, of course, online. I've even got really, really thin hobby tape, which is fantastic when it comes to use, doing chevrons, especially on stuff like uh, you know, Adeptus Titanicus. Um, Blue tack can leave a bit of a feathered edge, um, which is perfect if you're wanting to do something like this. These are the Galapox from the uh, Rogue Trader set. Um, what I'm wanting is more of a hook transformation, so like a blend between the colour that I'm already doing uh, into the silver, especially on the stacks and the hands and the little port there. Um, so I've basically just blocked it off. And then I'm going to be using very, very thin, very narrow um, sort of streams. Now you can as well, I do have a bit of paper, and I've got a bit of paper that's cut in certain ways. So I've got a bit of an edge and a right angle edge. This is perfect for when it comes to figures like this, where if you're just wanting the head, you can just shove that in. You haven't got to spend ages masking it all off. And that will just allow you then to be able to paint the head. So I'm going to be doing a couple of these just to show you what I mean. And then I'll probably even do some with the uh, actual strip masking as well. And here is some final results. This one here, I've uh, actually went across the metal with, uh, oh, focus, come on. I went across the metal with some Agraf Surf shade just to try and blend it in and make sure that it touched the corners and recesses. These two here, these were masked off, as you can see, like that. And uh, I just wanted to show you this as well. So this is another way of masking. Uh, basically cutting smaller strips of the actual masking tape and then making sure that of course when you peel it off it then makes these into this I've still got a paint in the middle bit but that's just for me to do and of course the door one you can end up like that that's Tamiya paint on those particular pieces the little guys ended up quite all right uh, again I've just put a little bit of null oil just into the inner workings just to try and make them stand out and it it makes it very quick very simple don't get me wrong this took ages to these did take a while to actually form up and uh, if i can try and take one off as you can see it's modeling tape so it's not taking off a stick underneath 
And then that just leaves that purely and simply for you to be able to actually do what you want with. And of course, I'll just be tidying those up later. But that's just a quick video about masking. Um, but if you like it, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification button for more. I'm on uh, Patreon, uh, Twitch and uh, YouTube if you've seen this on this platform. Um, that's all under Rootstem Gaming. I'm on, I'm on Facebook and Twitter. That's all under Rootstem Multimedia. If you can, please support the channel at patreon.com. Uh, it just helps, helps me keep doing this, to be honest with you, and helps keep the lights on. Right, thank you very much, guys. See you next time. Oh,